what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video once again here today because another needle has fallen another domino has fallen i would say in this domino effect i can just see happening all week leading into probably the next month with scream 7 and people departing from the project because now we have reports from deadline hollywood reporter uh and some other reputable outlets that jenna ortega has indeed decided to not return to the project now I will start off with The Hollywood Reporter, who says sources insist that Ortega's departure has nothing to do with Barrera's firing, which occurred after she made dozens of social media posts following the Israel Hamas war. Sources say that Ortega's representatives informed Spyglass to the prior to the actor strike that the actress, one of the biggest young Hollywood names to emerge in the past decade, would not be returning. Multiple sources say that the actress either had no deal or in the or in the renegotiating of her option asked what the movie company deemed was too much money i'm going to circle back to that too much money part they said then deadline said this we understand that ortega's exit from the next scream was discussed before the actor strike a script for scream 7 is not ready yet i'll talk about that and the primetime emmy nominee has to lead or has to head to ireland in april to shoot the second season of netflix's wednesday which will go into this summer so all i'll say first of all is the money stuff if it was indeed something where she had asked for too much money if that's true according to the hollywood reporter she's she's kind of earned that i'm jenna ortega has earned that to ask for more money especially considering how involved she might have been in the screenplay uh even if it was just like a limited capacity i still think she's earned it i think she's earned that if you have her on screen for five minutes ten minutes i think she's earned it that's just me however i will say this we are in a time where they might be very happy to just rehaul everything in response to the strikes as like revenge and tactics along with consequences to the actors and the writers for their strikes that of course being the amptp and the studios the other thing you have to acknowledge is the fact that there isn't very much so a unfortunate outlook on the economy in that state so a lot of stuff is just up in the air when it comes to money while people are owed certain things and they're right to feel certain ways if you show me their resumes i would argue jenna ortega is one of those people the problem is the economy might not be allowing for certain things to always align with what you want so then you end up in scenarios like this but she is owed that money i would say that i, I don't think she's wrong if that was the case however i want to also now address this viewer non yesterday tweeted that they had heard that the script was being rewritten now i've heard also from my landing source who hasn't let me down on multiple occasions that the script is indeed being rewritten and they're starting from scratch same person who told me that christopher landing was asked to direct and what happened and a lot of other stuff they told me about so i have no reason to doubt them i was also told the specific month jenna's intentions were made clear allegedly were as early as april this year so with that in mind and the fact that i've discussed them weighing options of a limited role if jenna found time in her schedule i don't think wednesday shooting conflict is a lie in fact i'd say it's 95 percent of the reason she isn't back because she already had that out as like an excuse so in the media's mind and whatever i guess spyglass if you want to speculate has any involvement on the media spin why bring up the five percent reason which i do believe is related to barrera when you already had the majority reason connected to your wednesday scheduling conflict which i do believe is wholeheartedly the majority reason why she's not returning the problem though is i think this is what happened this is just my opinion i think that she told them that hey i'm not intending to return but keep then she kind of talked to them along the process of it all said maybe i can and they said okay we'll keep the door open for you but then after yesterday she decided you know what let's just not do it at all and that's my opinion i think that's the five percent but because that's five percent why talk about it <laughs> why lead with that just lead with what the majority was which again it's hard to not think that it was wednesday wednesday season two that's not something that seems to be a lie that seems like a very obvious truth it's just very coincidental i get it that you're dropping this news today after what happened to after what happened with Barrera, I think that Jenna wanted out of the project altogether after yesterday. That's what I think. I don't want to discredit yesterday as if it had nothing to do with it a little bit, even if it was not reported on, because I do think that was something that played a factor in Jenna's decision. I want to also stress that the mention of the script not being ready doesn't mean that a script doesn't exist. 
one did and still does exist it's just no longer the script we will get and the script we shouldn't be getting if you don't have the carpenters back i think melissa barrera and jenna ortega will be just fine without this franchise and i want to remind everyone of this now that i am a little, am a little bit more calm as i was yesterday i'd say twitter is not real life most people day-to-day -day off this app do not care about this stuff they have their own lives and their own day-to-day -day issues when they go to look up and watch screen seven most people will not look up who on this project is standing with palestine and who did melissa barrera dirty who is spyglass because going to the movies isn't a moral affair for them it's a i want to be entertained for an hour or two and a half hours or an hour and a half affair and escape the problems of life scream 7 can still end up being a hit but i hope it's not because i've always wanted 7 to be the end anyway and i've argued 6 is a good ending point too you got to be realistic is all i'm trying to get at guys at the end of the day someone is going to sign on and star in this film it's a profession to them at the end of the day and me thinking that they should have certain morals and say no isn't going to change that fact that they are indeed a human being with their own free will and thought processes i can disagree with anyone who signs on to scream 7 but i will not harass them or get up in arms about it because that's not what really sends the message what sends the message is money send that message by simply just not showing up at the box office i wish whoever signs on well and hopefully you can have a solid seventh film but from this rework project that's inevitably going to come but i don't see us having any returning stars at this point and a fresh start could be attempted but if it bombs then you have no more scream and i'd be fine it, it'd be the final nail in the coffin to spyglass and what they're doing with the women involved what they're doing in response to all the political grandstanding that i again can't stress this enough i think hollywood needs to stop that regardless of what is being talked about politically from who you are working with that has nothing to do with filmmaking i think that needs to stop so you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below about melissa barrera and jen ortega being officially out of the project but it is what it is man that's that's where i'm at it, it just is what it is if it ends up being a good film i will tell you that because at the end of the day i'm most likely still just going to get my freebie and that'll be all i probably endure if anything because i i really don't want them to have any success with scream 7 financially that's my own honest opinion and i will tell you if it's a good or bad movie and be quite honest about it i won't try to let this situation create an overly biased review in my mind when it comes time but let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video